Was Winston Churchill racist? I would say, yes, he was. But that's only for judging him by today's standards. Uh, and really, we shouldn't be doing that. Now, you might be asking, why am I talking about Winston Churchill just randomly? Well, it's not too random. I've just read an article today in the Daily Express, which I'm going to be referencing, which is on, me, on my computer screen here. Um, basically, National Trust, the National Trust, which is um, kind of a body... Uh, in England that looks after historic buildings and things of that nature. Just pop it in Google, you'll find out all the information. Um, I'll pop a link to their website in the description. Uh, but the, the National Express has been attacked for supporting Black Lives Matter um, and their theory that colonialism is linked to slavery, which, I mean, that's a, a different topic in itself. Um, but basically... You defamed Churchill is the headline of this title. Woke backlash as National Trust members erupt at board. So National Trust members are kicking off at the National Trust because they're implying that that um, Winston Churchill was a racist, which, like, I'm sure he was racist, but he, he, there's no way he was uh, accepting of other cultures. It's just not part of the times, especially not when you think he was kind of brought up at the end of the Victorian era. era. Um, the man was a, a, a tough, basically, a really rich, upper-class person. He would have looked down at black people, Chinese people, Asian people, any any sort of, anybody who wasn't the same as him. Winston Churchill will have been xenophobic, but, uh, and racist, of course, uh, but, but so would most people have been in those times. Most people who grew up in Britain, for example, or anywhere in Western Europe, will have been racist and xenophobic, and that will have been the norm. There's, there was no two ways about it. That's just the way things were. Um, you were racist. The Winston Churchill will believe will have believed that Britain was superior to probably every other nation on earth, or at the very least equal to other other civilized nations, as he would say, or highly developed nations. For example, the USA, Germany, places like that. He would consider them equal to to British people, I would imagine. But other than that, I mean, Africans. He would, there's no way he would he would treat them as equals, I wouldn't think. Um, obviously, I didn't know the man, and he's dead now, long dead. Um, but this has been going for a while, this debate's been going for a while. Was Winston Churchill racist? Well, he probably was racist, but, you know, that's just that was the times. People were racist then. Uh, we've moved on now. Um, it's no longer acceptable to be racist. Um, it's very rare you see open racism. I mean... Plenty of people get called racists. For example, if you didn't kneel to a Black Lives Matter mob, they would probably call you a racist for doing that. Um, I don't think that is racist. There's lots of things that are racist, but you don't see it. It's not an overt thing. It's not something that's constantly shoved in your face. The way the media tries to make it out to be, um, I don't think. I don't think racism is a problem in Britain. Not at all. Oh, but of course, I mean, that, that'll just be my, my white privilege talking here. Um, my white privilege is a friggin' joke as well. Like, when you think, I grew up in a really poor area in, in the northeast of England, um, in Gateshead, a real a real shithole. Um, but we still had a decent childhood, you know, we, we had other friend, friends, we were all poor um, back in the late 80s, early 90s. Everybody was poor. There's no white privilege there. Um, everybody I know struggled up, up up to a point anyway um and i don't think it matters if you grew up where i grew up like reckoned and engaged said if you grew up there whether you were white or you were black you were in the same boat it made no difference i think the issues in britain are more class related um again going back to winston churchill he will have been more classist probably even than racist because i mean this if you think of winston churchill he's an upper class person uh obviously a member of the government for a long time being first lord of the admiralty and things in world war one and stuff like that he was from a position of power and a position of influence and he wouldn't he wouldn't uh i don't know he wouldn't let you lick the shit out of his arse basically um if you were a peasant like us you know uh, lower class people um so yeah winston churchill i think he was racist um i think most people then were racist i think he was classist i think he'd be xenophobic um, but I don't. I also don't think it's a controversial thing to say that. To be honest, um, he's racist to us. He or he seems racist to us um, as twenty-first century humans. You know, when we're looking back at those kind of times, yeah, 
he will seem racist and that's just the way it was it's nothing to be done i don't really see the point in dragging his name through the mud i mean the man led the country through world war ii he's he definitely had his faults um i'm not a historian or anything but i do have an interest in history and you know he, he was definitely not a perfect person and I, I do find it strange that he's kind of worshipped as this um almost godlike figure here in, in in britain um but he did a lot for the country but he, yeah he probably was racist and that's just the way it was and there shouldn't really be a discussion on the matter because he's from the past i mean what what, the, what does it achieve to call him racist what's the point so after all that talk i'm, I'm going to go and i'm going to read this article out to you now and um, we'll have some more thoughts at the end maybe see what we'll come up with and just another quick point here do i support black lives matter no i don't do i support equal rights for people yes i do i do believe everybody should be treated the same and equally and i, I treat everyone equally um i don't believe anybody should have any privilege so to speak i don't think anybody should be treated differently i think um but i do think we do a good job of that in this country i feel like black lives matter is a political organization of the far left um it's certainly been hijacked by the far left um and no i don't support it at all i don't believe we should be vandalizing statues and tearing down cities and burning places to the ground like it's happening in some places in america um, but anyway let's go on into this article here Furious members lashed out as the Trust held its annual meeting, albeit in virtual form, this month. Uh, members sent in questions and comments condemning the criticism of Mr Churchill, amongst other issues. The backlash comes after the Trust published a 115-page report in September in the links between colonialism and slavery amid Black Lives Matter protests across the world. Mr Churchill's Chartwell home in Kent was highlighted as the war hero was a former colonial secretary. However, members of the Trust have lashed out at the report, with some saying that they have defamed the war hero's memory. One said, Why do this about a great man who saved this country from defeat in the Second World War, amongst many other great deeds? Others said they don't want others' opinions pushed down their throats. One said, Why is the Trust spending ill-afforded sums on researching slavery within houses and generously gifted properties and land? The majority of members just want to see beautiful houses and gardens not have others, uh, others' opinions pushed down their throats. Another added, Why has the National Trust been instigating a witch hunt into the lives of past property owners? Your members wish to enjoy the properties gifted in good faith without having to endure the unfortunate woke agenda of the modern trust management. Hilary McGreedy, the trust director general, defended the report. She said, The majority of our visitors just wanted to enjoy our properties, and of course they do, but there will be people who want to know more, and we need to be able to respond to that as well. This is a really valid thing for the Trust to do. It is in no way about shaming anybody. The money, we strongly believe, has been well spent. But, he insisted, I'm sure that should actually be she, um, unless I'm missing something here, it was Helen McCready or something. But anyway, but she insisted the Trust are not members of BLM, and said, we are not members of BLM. Our mention of Black Lives Matter is merely a reference to our belief that we should not have a society that is racist. It is no more or no less. I hope as time goes by, you will see that in no way the Trust has become a political organisation that has been taken over by a bunch of woke folk or anything of that nature. It, be it came as 26 Conservative MPs warned, history must neither be sanitised nor rewritten to suit snowflake preoccupations. They added in a letter to the Telegraph, a clique of powerful, privileged liberals must not be allowed to rewrite our history in their image. This comes ahead of a debate on the future of the trust in the House of Commons on Wednesday. So that's uh, in a two days' time. So, quite interesting. And just before I come to the conclusion of the video with some final thoughts, um, if, you, if you'd like, please like, comment and subscribe on this post. Uh, it'd be great to see more people here. Thanks very much now. But yeah, like I said earlier on, I mean, you can't um, judge these people by today's standards. Um, whether you think he's racist or not, I mean, Winston Churchill accomplished quite a lot of great things in his time. Um, was he perfect? No, he was not perfect. Is anybody perfect? No, they're not. Um, was he racist? Probably. But can we judge him by today's standards? No, we can't. No, we shouldn't. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Um... Yeah, he was probably racist, classist, xenophobic. But he's still been voted as one of the greatest Britons, and I think that's right. He's he accomplished a lot. He's, you know, if, if you're going to start calling people like Winston Churchill racist, are we going to go right through our history and call everybody racist? You know, are we going to look at all the kings and queens who ever lived in 
pretty much any country um, and, and call them racist because of the views that were held back back in the olden days. I mean, I just think that's daft. The whole thing seems stupid. Um, the past was the past. It's happened. Um, it's pretty much irrelevant whether Churchill was or wasn't racist. Um, but he, like, he probably was. But why are you getting your be in a bonnet over it I mean the man's dead um, and uh, it really doesn't matter if he was racist it, what does it matter to you um, don't bother tearing his statues down don't write racist slogans and slurs on things you know just just relax you don't live in a racist country Britain is not racist as much as some people want it to be um, by that I mean sort of the left want this to be a racist place they want to find problems here they want to, to they want there to be racism in this country way more than there actually is just so they've got something to complain about so they've got something to fight against you know um if it's not the patriarchy then it's yeah it's uh it's white privilege and uh, it just it just all gets old i mean it does it gets to me i mean i'm sure it must get to some of you guys as well but anyway that's it for this video now um, thank you very much for listening. If you've got any opinions, um, you know, just pop them in the comments. Um, like I said, I always say I'm, I'm happy to chat to people. I'd, I'd, I'd love it if more people came along and had a watch of this video. Uh, if you've got something to say, say it. Let's hear it. Uh, I'm a firm believer in free speech. I, I, I don't mind not agreeing with your opinion. Um, I don't mind if you don't agree with my opinion. That's just that's the way of the world, um, and I'm totally fine with that. So, anyway, turn off for a bit, and thanks very much for watching. Have a great day now.